let's start by taking a look at a very short recursive function. Now I've written this both in C and in Ruby and they both work in exactly the same way. Now if I run these, let me do this first with the C version and there's its output and I'll also run the Ruby version and look at its output. Let's keep the C version there. And you can see that the output is, well, it's pretty much identical. Now, let's have a look at what the code does. I'll shut these down. So you can see the C code is on the left, the Ruby code is alongside it on the right. Now, what this does is essentially, in both cases, I pass zero as an argument to the sum recursion function, and it counts up to three by calling itself, calling the sum recursion function from within its own code. Uh, it calls it with the argument which I've called n. And the end result is that this variable total, that's a globally assigned variable, that ends up with the value three. And we've just seen that to remind you, here's the output from the C program, it's the same in both cases, so total ends up as 3. Now, this is about as simple a recursive function as you could possibly uh, write. And even so, if you're new to recursion, it's worth taking some time to think about it, to try to understand exactly how it works. So I urge you to spend some time really on this, this short function uh, so that you've got it in your head and you know exactly what's going on. So even though this is quite a simple function, all re recursive functions, all the more complicated recursive functions we'll be looking at later on in the course, well, at heart they work in the same way as this function. And for that reason I'm going to explain this short program in quite a bit of detail because it lays solid foundations for everything that's going to follow. So, the sole purpose of this sum recursion function is to count up to three. The function receives an integer value as an incoming argument, n. So n is scoped inside the function. It's local to that function. So the calling code, that's down here in the main scope of the program, that can't access the value of n. But it can access this variable, total, or dollar total in Ruby, because that's scoped outside the function. Whenever the sum recursion function executes, one is added to n and one is also added to total. Then, just so long as total is less than three, the code inside the sum recursion function calls the same function, sum recursion, all over again, passing to it the new value of n. And the whole process is started off by calling sum recursion with the value zero. Now, to understand what happens next, I'm going to step through the C version, that's this version here. I'm going to step through that using the Visual Studio debugger. I put a breakpoint on the recursive call to some recursion on line 10, that's up here. And I'll also put uh, another breakpoint on the uh, printf statement that's down here on line 12. And I'll add n and total to the watch window, but we see the results that we get when I go through this in the debugger in the next lesson.